Hi students, as a part of polymers today, I am going to explain you about fiber reinforced plastics. So the name is self-explanatory. The plastics which are reinforced by the addition of fibers are called as fiber reinforced plastics. Now what do you mean by reinforcement? Reinforcement means uh, the strengthening. So based upon that, the second definition is also possible for the fiber reinforced plastics. That is, the plastics which are strengthened by the addition of uh, the fibers are called as uh, fiber reinforced plastics. Right. So with the definition, it is amply clear that two components are required or two constituents are required for the preparation of fiber reinforced plastics. That is, the first one is fiber and the second one is the plastic. So, these are the two components which are required for the preparation of uh, the fiber reinforced plastics. The first one is fiber and the second one is plastic matrix. Now, let us see what are uh, the examples of the fibers which are being added to the plastic matrix in order to reinforce or strengthen the strengthen the plastic so examples of uh, the fibers which are used during the preparation of fiber reinforced plastic by the addition of the fibers to the plastics includes glass graphite carbon, beryllium, boron, and aromatic polyamides. So these are the examples of uh, the fibers which are going to be added to the plastic matrix in order to convert the plastic into fiber reinforced plastic. Now among these, uh, among these particular fibers which I have explained to you, that is what are the examples, that is uh, the glass, graphite, carbon, beryllium, boron, iron, aromatic polyamides. Among all these fibers, the glass fiber is most extensively used for the preparation of fiber reinforced plastics. Now the question arises why the glass fiber is most extensively used for the preparation of fiber reinforced plastics. So the glass fiber is most extensively used because of its durability, acid proof, waterproof and fire proof nature. So these are the very good properties associated with the glass fiber. So that is the reason which prompt us to us to rely or depend upon the glass as a fiber for the preparation of fiber reinforced plastics. I'm not saying that uh, the remaining the other uh, fibers are being uh, are not being used. The other fibers are also used for the preparation of fiber reinforced plastic, but this glass fiber is being uh, used most widely and extensively because of the uh, following properties, because of uh, the properties which I have explained to you. So this is about the fiber source. So we have discussed about one of the component which is required for the preparation of fiber reinforced plastic that is fiber particle. So next what we have discussed, we have discussed about the second component. That second component is uh, the plastic. Now, what is that plastic to which fiber can be added by which the plastic can be converted into fiber reinforced plastic? Now, students, we have two types of plastics. The one is thermoplastics and the second one is thermosetting plastics. Among the thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics, thermosetting plastics are strong. Why thermosetting plastics are strong? Because of uh, the cross linkages present in between the adjacent monomeric chains. So because of the presence of uh, cross linkages present in between the adjacent monomeric chains in the thermosetting plastic, thermosetting plastic comes under the category of cross linked polymers and as they come under the category of uh, cross linked polymers and as the cross linked polymers are very strong enough, 
thermosetting plastics are strong in nature. So since thermosetting plastics are strong in nature, they can withstand to the addition of the fiber. If we add the fiber, the glass fiber to the thermosetting plastic, it can withstand to the fiber material, it can withstand to the fibrous material. If it is not withstanding to the fibrous material, if it is uh, wearing and tearing away, if the plastic is wearing and tearing away, then where is the question of uh, fiber reinforced plastic? So what we are doing students here? So here we are increasing the strength of the plastic by the addition of the fiber. Not, it is not our intention to weaken the strength of the plastic. There is a need to increase the strength of the plastic. So, in order to increase the strength of the plastic or in order to reinforce the plastic, we have to use the plastic which can withstand to the addition of the fiber. And the plastic, the plastic category which can withstand to the addition of the fibers is thermosetting plastics. So thermosetting plastic is the one which can withstand to the addition of the fiber as it is uh, the strong plastic because of the presence of cross linkages between the adhesive monomers. Accordingly, the following are the plastic matrix which are being used for the preparation of fiber reinforced plastics. So examples of uh, the fiber reinforced fiber, examples of uh, the plastic matrix or plastics which are used for the manufacturing or preparation of the fiber reinforced plastic includes polyesters, so polyester thermosetting plastics, polyamides thermosetting plastics, epoxy thermosetting plastic, silicone thermosetting plastic, melamine thermosetting plastic. So, thermosetting plastic is a plastic to which uh, the fiber can be easily added because of its uh, greater strength as they are strong. Okay. So, now we have discussed about um, the two. So, this, the fiber is one of the component and the second one is, the second one is the plastic. So, among the two plastic which is being used students, thermosetting plastic. So one question might be ringing in your mind, right? dangling in your mind. One question might be dangling in your mind. What is that question? When Sar is saying that thermosetting plastics uh, are strong already, why there is a need to add the fiber in order to increase their strength? No doubt students, they are strong. They are strong, no doubt in it. But there is a need to increase the strength of the thermosetting plastic in such a manner that they can be used for uh, making uh, the substances like uh, the rifle bullets, uh, rifle bullets, guns, shipnels, aircraft material, aerospace material. So, so for uh, all these purposes definitely the whatever the strength which is associated with the thermosetting plastic is not enough. So we need to double the power, double the strength of the thermosetting plastic which is being done by the addition of the fiber to the thermosetting plastic. I hope you got it. Now how to prepare the fiber reinforced plastics? So in order to prepare the fiber reinforced plastic, first and foremost, what we need to do is we have to draw the glass fiber in the form of thread or in the form of a thread or fibers in the form of threads or fibers and turn in the form of uh, the filaments which are as thin as cotton and silk more thin as cotton and silk fibers. So, we have to draw the glass fiber into the threads or uh, uh, the fibers or the filaments which are more thin when compared to the 
cotton and silk fibers right so see here if you see this particular uh, figure please focus on another figure if you see this particular figure so the black portion is nothing but um, the black portion is nothing but the glass fibers the black portion is nothing but uh, the glass fiber right glass fibers so what we have to do we have to draw the glass fiber in the form of the threads or uh, filaments more thin as cotton and silk threads and we have to weave uh, this we have to weave these uh, threads or filaments or fibers in the form of a mat in the form of a mat now this is the mat in the form of a mat and this is the mat and uh, the lines which are being depicted by the black color are nothing but the glass fibers means in this glass fibers right now to which we have to add uh, the plastic matrix which plastic matrix thermosetting plastic matrix which the which which plastic matrix the matrix or the plastic which can withstand to the addition of the fiber only that is being added so now we need to add the plastic matrix to it and this plastic matrix is uh, denoted or depicted by the red line students so these red lines represents the plastic matrix. now whenever we are impregnating the plastic matrix into the glass fibers the composite is resulted so that composite which is resulted by impregnating the plastic matrix into the glass fibers is nothing but fiber reinforced plastics is nothing but fiber reinforced plastics so in this fashion we can prepare the fiber reinforced plastics by weaving the threads of the glass fibers into mats and by and what we need to do we have to embed or impregnate the plastic matrix into it so by which composite is resulted that composite is nothing but fiber reinforced plastic right. now already have discussed thermo setting plastics are already strong because of the cross linkage is present between the adjacent monomeric chains now by the addition of the fibers what we are doing uh, we are uh, increasing its uh, strength twice or thrice so whatever uh, the fiber reinforced plastics which are being uh, formed during this particular preparation are very very strong so since uh, these fiber reinforced plastics are very very strong these fiber reinforced plastics are associated with the, the following properties or characteristics traits, which includes the first one is low thermal expansion low thermal expansion means uh, uh, the heat will not have much effect on fiber reinforced plastics so high dimension stability so it is highly stable students low cost of production it is one of the advantage we can say that next good tensile strength it resistant to heavy tension also low dielectric constant corrosion and chemical resistance so these are uh, the very good properties we can say that these are the strong properties or characteristics associated with the the fiber reinforced plastics so since very good or strong properties or characteristics associated with the fiber reinforced plastics uh, these are used for the following purposes right so these are used uh, for making uh, the space craft parts aeroplane parts boat null parts these are also used for uh, acid storage tanks motor cars building materials to be more specific, uh, melamine fiber reinforced plastic is uh, used in insulation and making baskets. And it is also used for already on discuss. It is used for making pistol grips, students. Pistol grips. And rifle bullets. Rifle bullets. 
So rifle bullet can reach the person with more speed, with more velocity when compared to the metal bullet because of its lighter weight. So that is the reason nowadays rifle bullets are being used and a rifle bullet is being made up of fiber reinforced plastic because, because of its lighter weight and greater strength. Computer tape and consumer goods like doors, windows, tables, chairs, even cameras are also prepared by making use of fiber reinforced plastic, etc. So this is about uh, the fiber reinforced plastic students. I hope you understood this. Thanks for watching.